God is good. God is good. And all the time. So it is a blessing to be here this morning. Amen. Oh, I can't hear you. Amen. The Lord has been good to us. He has been faithful. And we are grateful to him. Amen. When I was preparing for this homily, I asked myself a question. As a priest ordained in the year 2012, this is the 11th time I am celebrating the feast of the transfiguration of the Lord. As a Catholic, being conscious as a little child, I believe I can say about 35 or 34 years. And I've been asking myself since last Tuesday, what has been the impact of the transfiguration of the Lord on my life as Emmanuel or being Kujo? I come to church, we worship God. When I go out as a priest or as a Catholic, do I radiate the transfiguration I have experienced in Christ Jesus to others? Am I going forward or am I going what? Backward. I've been asking myself, I've been thinking about it. And sure, in 1456, on the 7th of uh, uh, August, Pope Callistus decreed, and I mean, I'm not bothered about all those, the history of the transfiguration of the Lord. Yes, we know. Oh, and Moses appeared with Elijah, and all, yes. And what has been the impact on your life? The impact on my life as a priest. The impact on your life as a father. The impact on your life as a mother. The impact on your life as a child. What has the transfiguration of the Lord done to you? Not because there is no power in the transfiguration, but have you allowed, have you allowed? Even your phone, sometimes the apps would ask you, do you allow? Deny or what? And you say deny, it won't work. If you say allow, it works. So don't tell me that there is no power in Jesus. There is power in Jesus. There is power in the transfiguration. But have you allowed? And that is my tea for today. Have you allowed the transfiguration to work in your life? The first point. Have we ourselves been transfigured? You know the word trans, trans, across, you know, to move, a movement. So transport, transition, translation, trans transient moving so have have you moved even as a child sure i was saying that great things have little what beginnings and the little beginnings transform you transform no woman i don't i, I don't know how you even walk that you are pregnant and the the, the child in your womb is weighing 50 kilos even yourself, you say, hey, where did I pass? Even the doctors will wonder, Mama, are you okay? Are you sure this is a child? Because every baby, if you give birth to a baby, and the child is as huge as Father Kujo, <laughs> there's a problem. No, there's a problem, isn't it? Yes, because little beginnings, a baby must come out. I said, baby, I said, little, something one kilo, 1.2, two kilos. Before you become 50, Oboshi, 100, <laughs> what? So have you been transfigured? Have you moved? Have you moved from here? Have you, have you allowed yourself to, your figure, to be changed like Jesus was changed? When you come for mass, you come to the altar of sacrifice and you receive Jesus, do we change? Are we transfigured? Ask yourself. <laughs> have you transfigured in your marriage? Or you are still the same. You are even worse. Inverse relationship. Inverse. 
So as, as the years increase in your marriage, your love is going down, it's vanishing. Hey, transfiguration has the nuance of a better appearance. When Jesus was transfigured, oh, he changed to the point that even the apostles, they hate, they couldn't believe, they could hey, Christ has changed. For the better, the glory of the Father, the glory, how God is in heaven. That glory was shown on the apostles. Is your wife tired? Because you are not transfiguring. You are rather dwindling. You are rather behaving like a cancer. Cancer, you know cancer. Cancer. Or you have allowed yourself to be transfigured. To be transformed. People go for all sorts of injections to transform. Oh, you don't know what I'm talking about. They want to transform. Say, hey, now when you say, hey, hey. they can't even breathe. Who hey, hey. you? Who you? They're going to die. Oh, you want to be transfigured? Some men are going to the jail. When you see them. They, want you, they, they don't want the one pack I have. They don't want that one. They want six packs. Oh, yeah. There's something wrong. There's something wrong with that one. But have you, trans, in your soul, have you transfigured? Have you transformed? Do you like the things of God? Or you are repulsive? When, you, when we are even preaching, you are angry. When we are praying, you are angry. When we are doing the things of God in the church, you are angry. Because you want the church to behave like a keep faith club. Or Rotary Club or Lions Club, you forget that the church is the house of who? Of God. Ask yourself. Transfiguration. In your house, do your children see in their father a transfigured person? The prayer said that just as Christ is transfigured, we, 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 the prefects will say that we will also one day see such glory. Can your children see in you? Colossians, I love that verse. Colossians 1 27. Christ in you. Christ in you. Christ in you. I remember those days, Pope John's, SU, when we meet, Christ in you is the hope of glory. So powerful. So lovely. Into where you are there. Say, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Are you sure that you, your wife can say that you are the hope of glory? That your husband can say that, oh, Father, after our marriage five years ago, my wife, fantastic. No, 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 no. Your children, are you transformed? Some of us are, are in Accra. Our parents are in the villages, are in the towns. Do you even call them? Do you even remember your roots? Do you remember where you are coming from? Have you improved or you are going back? Forward ever. Today we are all in CPP. We are going forward. You can't go back. You can't go back. You must allow the power of the transfiguration of the Lord to change your life. That you have celebrated transfiguration. You have come for mass. We are throwing incense. You receive communion. You receive anointing. All these things cannot go waste. If we go, go, the mass is ended. And then our lives are just like those who have not gone to church today. There's a problem. If on Monday, your friend who is today eating Omutuo by this time and Kotoje, Last week I was told you you said you would keep some pork for me. I came, no show. I didn't see any pork. I didn't see any pork. I came, I rushed to a crowd on Sunday, no pork. You say, yeah, St. James Wall. Then I'm here. But imagine <laughs> those who are chewing pork, those who are chewing, they are some are playing golf. No, they have no problem. They are enjoying life. You say you must come to church to worship God. Today, transfiguration. And Monday you go to work and you are worse. That person tells you, Tale, let us add zero. So, Tale, add, add, add. You are no different. So, Tale, Tale, this young national service, Tale, national service, they're about to close. So they, will, they will leave in August. This girl, let us clear her first. Oh, yes! And they say, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you when they You forget, you see? So, so, at the end of the day, there is no difference between you. In fact, the one who didn't even go to church is better. Yes. You, you have come for church, you have received communion. The choir has sung, you have danced, you have put in tight, you have put in thanksgiving, you have some assaulted all this. And you are telling the person, say, let us clear that you are a young girl. You, you think you are slain. Hey, you have not slain yet. 
Look at the pictures of our mothers. Sometimes we say, hey, mommy, mommy. when you see their skirt here, those days, it's not like this. When you, you have done nothing. Those days when Ghana was Ghana, they don't tell us. When Fridays they used to go for dance, and they dance, they dance their hearts out. You think today you're a guy, you are nothing. Ask them, they don't tell you, you are nothing. You are doing nothing. And you have hooked somebody's husband. You are in the church. I'm not saying somebody has told me anything, I'm just talking. <laughs> Oh, you are chasing somebody's husband. And you have come to church for transfiguration. <laughs> and you are telling me, Peter, James, and John saw Jesus. And, then, and you, what are you doing? You have behaved, you have behaved like, you know, tick. Those days, I don't know whether they still are on docks. Sumbro. Is this Sumbro? Otari. Otari. Come on, say. Come on, then. Otrin Muja. Hey, my sister. I mean, who? Transfiguration. What's the Transfiguration. Transfigure! Oh, yes! The temptations will come. Even as priests, we face temptations. But then let the power, allow the power of what we celebrate work in your life. Amen. So, the first point Have you been transfigured? Tell the one beside you, ask the person, Have you been transfigured? Mrs. Bayou is asking me something. <laughs> I like that. They're asking, have you been transfigured? If your husband has been transfigured, you know. If your wife. If your wife has done, you know. You were a child. Your parents are paying. Last Thursday, is it Thursday? Holiday, not yet. Friday. Or, I went to do a retreat in my own school, St. Teresa School, for the BEC candidates. And I asked them, how much is your school fees? A 10. That 3,000 plus. I said, ah. No, I'm not saying one you. I said a term. <laughs> said three thousand. Now what? Like it? What you want to You don't. You, you don't understand. Hey, parents, do you tell your children what you are going through? If you are paying three thousand Ghana city one term, <laughs> three times one year, isn't it? How many are you paying? Nine thousand. Feed you fee. Oh, you you know. Hey, Sunday school. <laughs> with you. You had you would understand now. But one day that is why you must allow yourself to be what? Transfigured. Jesus Christ, when he was a small boy, he was steady. He wasn't stealing coins. Look at me. God is watching you. He wasn't what? Uh, beating his mates. Some of you have never bought pencils and pens. You are always stealing pencils and pens. <laughs> you must be transfigured. When your friends are quarreling, fighting, you must stop them. You are Catholic. You must stop them because you have seen transfiguration. Amen. Number two. When Christ chose Peter, James, and John, he told them, let us go to the mountain. And if you listen to the gospel, it says that they climbed a high mountain. There are mountains and there are what? high mountains 2013 the priest that is some priest in ghana our student 2012 to the following year our national congress we went to go Ola senior high school who dices hosted us he said priest excursion oh we are going to afajato say no problem we are young priest then the people in the whole, the priest from there, in the whole dice, they said, Oh, fathers, this morning don't eat heavy. Take something what? Something small, because you are going to climb the mountain and all that. You say, Oh, what are you talking about? Ah, we will eat, you must eat and then climb. And the king, 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 and fish. Hey, those three kids, we drank tea, our max, more than a helicopter. We drank everything we ate in Chefua, in the eggs and what? They put us in a bus from whole straight. So now we can climb. So we will climb. We started climbing the high. Hey, the high. Oh, we're about 500. In 15 minutes, 200. Oh, we said, oh, we will go. Oh, we, we were ordained last year. Oh, we will go. Oh, for the cross. Oh, we will go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. In 20 minutes' time. <laughs> hey, only grace. Reverend Father James Ahegra, he's now in America. I said, Father, eh, yeah. it's okay. 
I won't go. If I some of even the sportsmen, when we were something like those who were playing football, what am I to mess up my own mate, Melvin? It's okay. He left. You guys are good. Eh? You don't worry. You climb today. You won't climb again in your life before you die. So you let us even take our time. Eh? Little by little. Even the police escort following the group. Everybody, some, when we were still moving, others were coming down. We were now going. At long last, we reached the top. Over 30 minutes, we were still sitting down. Even descending, I found that too. Itself. <laughs> People were rolling. Ro I'm telling you. Jesus and the apostles. Bible says they climbed what? High mountain. Some of us, if you were James Peter, just say, Jesus, hey, 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 you. Are they? We are 12 apostles. You said one, two, three. Christ did not tell them, follow me to go and see what? To go and see what? He didn't tell them to follow him to go and see just says, Follow me. Sometimes in life, you must climb the high mountain. It may be painful. You will sweat like I'm sweating now. You will feel tired. But you must what? When we walk with the Lord in the light of his what a glory he sets our way forward. He abides. And with all Trust. Trust and obey. That is it. Trust. He says, follow me. Climb the mountain. Trust. Trust. Yes. Trust. In Jesus. My children, sometimes your father sounds abnormal. Sometimes your father sounds stupid. Sometimes your father sounds colo. I wish my father was still alive. Because there are things, at the age of 14 he died, I heard him tell others, my own siblings, that today they make meaning to me. Trust and obey. You are climbing the high mountain. If your parents should tell you what they went through, some of you will, will, will run away. Yes. But trust and what? Trust and Peter, James, I'm stressing this because St. James, our patron saint, he was part of the, the three. The James there is St. James the Greater. This are saints. He climbed. They did not know why Christ said, follow me, let us climb the mountain. Sometimes your boss, even in your office, is telling you to do something. You don't understand. It doesn't make sense. You have come, you think this boss is silly. What is it? Hey! Trust and. Sometimes the bishop is saying, Father's priest in a crowd. Do you say, ah, Father Bishop, what, are you doing? what do you know? We will know. No. What Monsignor Myers can see sitting down like this? I can be standing as Paris priest of St. James. I don't know anything. Hey, I don't know anything. He has been a chancellor. He has been vicar general. He has been parish priest. What he can see, he can even see a person's face. <laughs> so this person, I know the person. I have not reached there yet. But sometimes we think we know too much. They followed. And it was not a sweet following. Kempinski following. They were climbing. I have said that next BPC next year, Mr. Bojan, we will climb Ayi Mensa, that, that Pediasse, the hill there. We will climb by all means. We will see. It's, even that one is even simple and afaja too. So, please, sometimes you don't understand the ways of God. I've said this several times in this church. That sometimes you are traveling from Accra to Kumase. Straight. Just get to circle. Straight road. Straight, 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 straight. God says, no. Go to Kaswa. Use Winneba. Go to Yamranza. Don't even use Mankesim. Use Yamranza. Go to, say, God, you don't know the road to Kumase well. I'm in Ghana. Hey, God created the world. He knows the road. But he knows why he's telling you, use the longer route. 
it will sell, it will end you well. Amen. So, no matter what, climb. The pain, the head, follow, trust and obey. Second point, trust and obey. Climb the mountain. No matter the pain, the sweating, the confusing, the tiredness. Some of you have reached the, the what we call saturation. Some of you, as you sit in this church, you are at the point of death. You are tired. What I'm saying sounds too useless to you. Your father, you don't know what you are saying. Unimbra, my bra. Your job, your target, you are a lawyer, you have lost cases <laughs> in series, in sequence. Your marriage is going down. Say, Father, I should climb where? He says, climb, follow me. You are praying for husband, you are not getting a husband. All the boys coming. 419 boys. You are praying for girls, those who are coming. Dangerous girls, Al Qaeda girls. Don't worry. Move on, climb, climb, climb. Because when you climb to the top, you shall see the transfiguration. Imagine Peter has said, Jesus, hey, small boy, Jesus, hey, hey, first womb, what you own. Don't you know me, Peter, I'm an old man. I've been fishing, or you, you should climb this high mount for what? It's okay, hey, James and John, go, I'm going back. Today we read from Peter. He wouldn't say he saw it. But he followed Jesus. He climbed. Today he is part of the witnesses of the transfiguration. And we know that transfiguration from his account. Continue. No matter your age, your experience, climb, follow Jesus. You will surely see the... May that be your portion. Amen. The last point is this. It, 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 it's, you know, I want to... I just thought about this just last night. The three apostles, Peter, James and John. Out of the 12 apostles, you know, they were disciples. Out of the disciples, Jesus chose what? 12. And out of the 12, he still chose what? Three. Oh Lord, I want to be in there. We want to be part. That favor on Peter, James, Jesus, St. James is a patron saint. May we be part of the number. It is favor. But you see, favor comes from the Lord. But yourself, you must position yourself strategically. Peter, can you read? Some few verses before this, profess Jesus, confess him as the Messiah. Yes. And guys, you. As for the James and John, you know. <laughs> What they will ask of Jesus. Say, so Jesus, hey, want to sit. Right and what? Another thing say, oh, the mother came to plead. Whatever it is, they asked. Strategical position. But are you, if today, I was asking, I said, hey, God, give me favor. If today, Archbishop Kofi must choose three priests to see his transfiguration, this is Will I be part of the number? Could you Will I be part of the number? If today your husband has been asked to choose three people in his life, it can be anybody, three, to see his glory and to be with him forever. Are you sure he will choose you? Mrs. Bayo says yes, I like that. Pa fantastic. Some of you say, Father, oh dear, answer. My, uh, 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 <laughs> let me choose these are my friends. Yes, I know what I'm talking about. Some women will not choose their husbands. Some parents, one man, oh, parents are suffering. One man, three children, all three delinquent, as for ding. Hey, as for ding. Pastor, Father, even my will, rich person, my will, I have changed it two times. I said, why? I said, I, because when I'm trying to prepare my children, for the future. They want me to prepare the future for them. I don't know what the, what the man said. It, 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 at first sight, we think, ah, what is he saying? Preparing your child for the future is not the same as preparing the future for your child. Don't you drive in Accra, Kumase. Don't you see huge, huge houses that are now going bad? Don't you see it? Companies that existed at first, 
the owners have died and the companies have also what? Collapsed. They willed it to their children. They were preparing the future for them. They did not prepare their children. So you die, there is a land cruiser in your house, you have a huge house, you have left your children with 50% of your property. <laughs> so they, they waste your property. Haven't you seen some before? I pray that we will position ourselves in such a way that we can be chosen as part of the three. May the name of the Lord be praised now and forever. Amen.